Love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. Welcome to this Kingdom Age channel. Know that all glory comes from daring to begin, and we must start with the first step. Sometimes we got to fake it till we make it. But remember, don't be so hard on yourself. Even if you go two steps forward and one step back, you are going in the right direction. But know that to win tasks ahead of us uh, without risk is to triumph without glory. So let's reach for the stars and realize that there are footprints upon the moon. And know with love's greatest shining for his kingdom age glory. These are the days of Elijah, the days of Daniel, the days of Shiloh, our, when we can realize that our greatest glory is never failing, but in rising every single time we fail. And it's time that we realize that where's the glory in repeating what others have done? This has never been done. This is the kingdom age channel where God is giving mankind a heads up that he will be their God. He says, I will forgive your sin. I will never remember it again. I will write my law and my love upon your hearts and all shall know me from the least to the greatest. And uh, all, all people of love shall be saved with everlasting life and everlasting love. So commit not the unforgivable sin. Let your love light go out, spiritual suicide. And know that the glory in following the road of love is in the attempt to reach the goal of adoration, charity, benevolence, overflowing good tidings and good wishes forevermore that is just ahead, that awaits everyone that reaches. And these are the days to realize that our love of always is the source, I'll be out in a minute, uh, is the source of life the wealth of honor and it's time to live life for his glory and it's true to and very clear to see that the bravest are surely those who have the clearest vision of what is before them glory and danger alike and yet notwithstanding go out with me to we, we need to go forward in love. If if the Lord wants us to march into hell for a heavenly cause, we, we should not even think about it. It's like if you if there, you catch a thousand fish and there's only one big one, what do you do? You throw away the 999 and know that where there is no temptation, there is no glory. These are the days of the trial of all flesh, Revelation 3. And in these days, God's word of patience comes up to all of us for these days of COVID-19 uh, to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. There, There is the glory when we beat our sword into the sickle upon the latter-day mountain of Isaiah 2 and Micah 4, which is this channel. Uh, so know that there is no road of flowers leading to glory, but love alone leads us all to glory. And it's time to put away the gross darkness of Isaiah 60, the truth that all of us have wanted unconditional love of divine, and the truth that very few of us have been unselfish enough to have that. I choose that way. And know that we rise in glory as we sink in pride. And these are the days of the uh, uh, oven the, that are burning as an oven, because uh, a morning glory at our window uh, is now able to satisfy us more than ever than any books that we've ever read. And it's time that we turn around and realize that when it comes to love, if it's not passionate, it's lukewarm. God wants to spew that out of his mouth. For as far as love is concerned and the absolute passion thereof and the compassion and the empathy and the sympathy without that and without forgiveness uh, there is no guts no glory no legend and absolutely no story and so it's time that we get uh, along in the sandbox together and it's time to realize that our living lord of love is the source of all life 
wealth, and honor. So let's live life for his glory, for the glory of love. And let your ears shine as the stars and know that the glory of God will give us the light of love, the brightest, greatest glory. Uh, and praise God as we go forward, even though it's difficult. But know this, that until the lion learns how to write, every story glorifies the hunter. And that hunter has been removed. The very second that that roaring lion of, of uh, black lion of father of lies, um, as soon as the covenant was given, Daniel 12, 1 had to happen. Otherwise, as the accuser of the brethren, as the book of Job 4, 4 shows, the day and night Satan has been before the Lord confessing our sin unto his ear. But he would have made God a liar. As soon as God gave the covenant, he had to be removed. With, or else God would have remembered our sin and he would be a liar. So praise God. I am Elijah, and that's the story because it's the truth.